Today is September the 2nd. We took an RV trip. Uh, this is the second day. We are stopping by at uh, um, Calder's Farmer's Farm. Uh, Calder's Farm in Kerhans, Kerhankison, New Jersey. So this is a field for raspberry, blueberry, uh, I believe that is uh, broccoli, green pepper, tomato, eggplant, looks like they just let it grow, even the weed. So no weed killer, no bugs spray, all natural, all bugs right here. Very good concept, very good business. A lot of people, a lot of fun stuff for kids, for everyone. This is the type of the model I'm looking after. All right. We have the two giant fans that are running in here when it hits a certain temperature, so airflow is always good. How do and you get all these um, nutrition from the uh, hydro fish? Hydroponics okay. that we have here. Okay. We have a, a fertilizer tank back there, and every 28 minutes, two minutes of fertilizer and water is pumped into these plants. Oh, wow. And fish? Sorry? Fish? No fish. No fish. Nope. We, okay, uh, John just... makes the fertilizer mix and it just automatically pumps in. I see. Um, That's we incredible. We don't spray anything, so we, we are a no spray farm. So with that, we do run into some problems. Okay, uh, bugs. Unfortunately, we have just gotten caterpillars in here. The benefit, or it's not benefit, but the only <laughs> redeeming quality is that we're almost done with the season for tomatoes anyway. <laughs> so it's like, all right, it sucks, but we made it this far. Um, and yeah, every single week I'm in here and I pull out like 200 plus pounds of tomatoes. 200 a week? 200 oh, a week or wow. more. I think that the most I had was 390. Wow. And the least I had was like 150. And winter it runs too? No. No. This will stop October or November. When do you start? I I think we started in June. In June. I'm pretty sure it was okay. June. June. Wow. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, come in here once a week, prune everything, get all the suckers off, take off all the unwanted leaves down here wow. so it has good airflow. It just grows and grows. And it just grows. So long as you give it the right nutrition, they will not stop growing. It's incredible. And wow. it's like sometimes, you know, we've lost a couple plants. Like I said, we only just got the caterpillars in here and it happens. We don't spray. This looks like a wood block. It's, kind of. it, it does. It's, um, it's kind of like foam, really. Foam, okay. So we start with having the, the hydroponics right in here so it gets the roots started. Okay. And then after a while, we, uh, okay. we move them down in here because the roots have grown through this block into the perlite. Okay. Oh, wow. Perlite. So this is, not this not is much a, soil involved. No, no soil at all. And Same it grows with, like I, crazy. I, I'm not, if John is there, maybe be able to show you guys. Okay. I'm not allowed to show the hydroponic so these house. standing bushes are upwards of 30. Do you know the variety? I um, unfortunately don't. All okay. I do know is that we have about nine different varieties out there. Nine he different. Just, and he, he plants one, sees how well it does. And the season, young. it starts uh, uh, June? June, I believe, for the blueberries. End, end of June? Um, I'm gonna say mid. Mid, okay. Mid to end. And, and I this, think. Is, this is end. This is already end. Yeah, this is like about two, three weeks ago we two, stopped. Two, three weeks ago, which is and, uh, uh, August. Um, this the year we had a, a too much you rain. Need to show you get good drainage. It looks like um, the 
It's hill. Yeah. Um, Slope. Yeah, we're, we're decent with that. Everything out here is set up for irrigation. This is a greenhouse raspberry. It can extend the growth period to two months. And they don't sell this to public. They don't do you pick. They sell this and pick this on their own. And this is another flower they make. They do flower bed. Cut flower. You pick. Today is September the 3rd, we are visiting a berry farm in Chatham, New York, it's close to Albany. Um, this farm has got blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, currant, a currant, I don't know if that's right. Um, they have flowers, they have all kinds of veg vegetables, they got solar powers. And the most amazing thing they had is the vertical grow tomatoes. I'll show you in a little bit. But this is a blueberry field. And they don't spray and they don't use pesticide or uh, herbicide. Looks amazing. Hydroponic. That's for the tomato grow. Let's take a look. Yes? Come on! Come on! Stop! 